Here at Flyrides, we sell multiple brands with different types of electric drive systems. Today, we're gonna to go over the Yamaha display and remote, which is equipped on their very own Yamaha electric bicycle. To start, let's turn on the bike. Press that power button on your display. Once your system is on, your display will show several options. Your speedometer, what power level you're on, how much battery you have left, whether you connect it to a Bluetooth device, and then on your lower part of your screen, you'll be able to customize what you view, whether it's the odometer, a clock, or your bike's range. Before we move forward with what is displayed on the display, let's check out the remote. The remote has four buttons, an up and down arrow to choose which level of power you want. You have a select button, and then you have a walk assist feature. In order to engage that walk assist feature, you first must be in a power level. Hit the up arrow so that you're at least in eco mode. Press and hold the walk assist button to engage it. Once you let go of the walk assist button, it will disengage. Moving back to the display. Pressing the up and down arrows on the remote will toggle through the power levels that the Yamaha system offers. Starting from the bottom, you have eco, then standard, then high power, moving up to MTB mode, and then that extra power mode. To toggle between the different views on the display between range and odometer, simply press the select button on your remote. You can toggle between your odometer, your trip, your range, your average speed, your max speed, how much battery life you have left, your cadence, and even a clock. Now we can dig in with the display settings. To get into the settings menu, press and hold the select button on your remote. The first option you're gonna see is a stopwatch. To engage the stopwatch, select the select button, then press it once more to start it. By pressing and holding the select button again, you'll be able to reset the stopwatch or exit the menu. The next option setting is time adjust. This will help you adjust the clock on your display. Select the time adjust to first adjust the hours, Hit select one more time and you can adjust the minutes. Next up is the distant unit setting. Here you can select between kilometers or miles. The next useful setting is the display items. I like this one in particular because you can select which items to display on your display. For example, I'm not too interested about my max speed or my average speed. So within this settings, you can deselect those options and they will not come up on your display. Scroll down to that item, hit the select button to unselect that item. The next option on the display is the reset setting. Within this setting, you can individually reset the trip mileage, the average speed, and your max speed. Simply select which option you want to reset and then hit exit. Now we're at the Bluetooth settings or the Bluetooth low energy setting. After you select that BLE option, you have the option to choose between the CSCP or the cycling speed and cadence profile or the CPP, the cycling power profile. Once either of these profiles are selected, you'll be able to use your computer or your phone to get that data. Just make sure your cycling computer like your Garmin or your Strava on your phone are compatible with your system. Next is the USB setting. Within this setting, you can choose to use your USB connection as a power supply, for example, to charge a phone or a Garmin. Or if you scroll down to COM, you can use it to connect to the Yamaha support system. This is primarily used at a bike shop. Last but not least, there's an LED option. You could turn the LED light on or off using this option. And that's all the settings for that Yamaha PWX2 system. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another tech tip. Until next time, enjoy the ride.